Any man made in Christ is a new creature. Yeah, one of my favorites. All things that I used to do, I don't do no more. Because now I am born again. And big shout out to my man Chris. I got so many comments on that homosexuality video and I love it. And I'm really over rejoicing now because one of those guys hit me up and said, you know what, I can respect you and I love what you did with this video because I am a homosexual myself. And I love how you kept it real and said it ain't just homosexual the only sin in the church because you got a whole lot of things going on but why people keep trying to make us feel bad. He said, but looking at this video, JT, touched my heart and I'm, and I'm thinking about what I am because I know I need to change. And now I'm really ready to change by looking at this video. That's what I'm talking about, people. Big shout out to you, Chris. That's why I say I love everybody and I don't judge because you are right. In that video, I, I got to keep it real. And that, ma that makes me come back and do this video because if more people could be like the homosexuals, and I mean this in a good way, by, by not being ashamed of the gospel because you know all the time when you see homosexuals in church, they don't have no shame. They know who they are, they know what they do, and they don't care what people think about them. And they open up their mouth and sing praise, and praise is harder than anybody. And I know it ain't right, but I'm saying this to say this. What if Christians start acting like that? What if all these choir Christians with their mouth closed will start praising God and singing? Half of these people in these choirs nowadays won't even open up their mouth. They just want to get up there and look good. And that brother say he is trying to change. And it's a lot of it's a lot of preachers that that I always want to talk bad about this. But you know what I was telling this preacher the other day, and he got a little mad at me. But I got to keep it real. I say because we are all God's children, like my man Mitty man say, God loves the sinner, but He hates the sin inside of all of us, inside of all of us. And when you look at these churches and these pre these preachers that do this. Just like everybody was saying about Bishop Eddie Long, now you know now all these allegations against him and how he used to preach hard against homosexuality. But you look at the charges he got now, and people are really angry. I'm not angry, and I'm not mad at nobody. I, like I say, I pray for Bishop Eddie Long. He don't need no more criticism. He need uplifting and being prayed for, just like any other individual. And when we was talking about homosexuality, that brought me to this too, because I had to come back and check some of these these pastors on this. And I said it just like this. We quit to talk about the homosexualities. Like, like I said, my page on my page on her, you will see me talk about anything. And then I'm going to come back and tell both sides. Just like I'm going to do on this. And when you talk about homosexuality, yeah, you're forgetting about, you're forgetting about all the other sins. There is no sin greater than the other. And we always quick to go back to Genesis and, and, and talk about, you know, the abominations and all this. But when you look at where we at nowadays... Now that Jesus has died, shed his blood, I look at it like this. Don't just talk about homosexuality. You got some deacons on your front row sleeping with people knowing that they married. Your minister of music is, is sleeping with people in the praise team and in the choir stand messing up your church. You got homemongers all around the church. You got people in the choir stand still hoes. I'm just going to be blunt with this. Yeah, homemongers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. So when you talk about that, don't quit trying to label sin and make people feel bad just because homosexuality is sticking out harder than anything. You got hypocrites in, the, hypocrites in the pulpit using religion to get paid. And you better be careful that if it ain't you, it's probably somebody next to you. So you got to be careful when you standing up trying to check people in your sermon all the time. Yeah, it's good to preach on homosexuality, but it's also good to preach on everything else. That's why I say sin is sin. There is no sin greater than other. Whether this man is a homosexual or this man shooting dope up his arm or she a prostitute, there is no difference. But we want to keep putting a label on sin. So I got to stand boldly on this and tell the truth. Don't just talk about that. I know we're supposed to tell the truth, but we keep leaving out everything else. Yeah, you got evangelists and, and prophets going around here and doing all kind of stuff. Yeah, we see it on the news all day. Y'all know I ain't lying. That's what I said in, 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 in the other video. Who is in more trouble now when you see it on, on TV now? Is it, the, is it the rappers, the celebrities, the football players, the basketball players? Or is it, is it the church people who call themselves so holy and die? Yeah, you better be careful what you're saying about people and what, what's inside of your church. Yeah. See, we got too many preachers that want to hide. Yeah, they, they, they hear certain things like I was saying. There's going to come a time when people do not want to hear the sound doctrine. People are going to want to do what they want to do, hear what they want to hear, what's pleasing to they self. It ain't got nothing to do with God. So I, I, always, I always pray for the homosexuality, period. I pray for the prostitutes. I pray for the drug dealers. Whatever it is, I pray for it. 
Because believe it or not, you got all of that shit in your church, whether you believe it or not. But only thing about homosexuality and why I stick out so hard, because when you are a leader and you have been put in position, like we was talking about in the Bishop Eddie Long video, when you become a head of a church, you stick out very hard. When you are a minister of music, it sticks out very hard. Any type of leader that sticks out in the church, it's going to show because people are looking at you as a leader, and you are always in front of people. Now, them other people in the congregation, they be hiding. Yeah. You can easily have down low brothers and stuff in there hiding and stuff like a lot of churches coming out with now. But like I said, it ain't just homosexuality. Yeah. What about that drunk, that deacon that you know that get drunk every day, and he come to church still drunk, halfway drunk and still standing up there, about to fall all over and sleep on the front row all the time? Let's keep it real, man. Let's keep it all the way real and we're going to keep it real. That that person that's the praise team leader and you know they ain't right. They done told you they ain't right and you just still leaving them in position and calling them to act of God. When God say the only way to come in this building is and enter in spirit and truth. Ain't no spirit and truth and you being drunk and high. People coming to church still high on the music staff. And they're just high as I don't know what. Can't even remember the song because they done been clubbing all night and can't remember the service. And got a four day service that can't function right. So keep it real, Pastor. It ain't just homosexuality is not the only sin in the church. You got people that preach on it, and you got people that stand on it and love it. Yeah, I'm just gonna be real. Because they know if they start preaching on it, a lot of them gonna leave their church and then their ties is gonna be dropped. Yeah, oh, we gotta drop your paycheck, Pastor. Yeah. We done lost a lot of members now. So so instead of being what's real, you're gonna stand on what's fake. Oh, y'all know I'm keeping it real. I'm finna get some bad comments on this video. We ain't standing on what's real. We, we standing on what's gonna get us paid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I said in the other video, it, man, I just gotta keep standing. I gotta keep telling the truth because God gonna hold me accountable. And, he, and today, he just got me doing videos all day, and I don't even know why, but I ain't even gonna question him. And these topics is, is just coming. Yeah. I'm gonna get back on the piano, y'all. Trust me. But right now, it's past that. It's a focus thing with this word because I want y'all to know who I am. So a lot of people know me as a piano player, but that's that's not who, that's not all I am. Yeah. I'm a child of God and I got to spread his word regardless. Y'all be blessed.